My name is Mike St. George, and I am an athlete with Endurly. I also am a doctor of physical therapy. I've been practicing for over 10 years. I specialize in return to sport and sports medicine performance. And today we're going to talk a little bit about ankle mobility. So with the ankle and foot, we need to have good mobility because as human beings, we are bipedal, which means we focus mostly on two legs upright position. So we have to get that reciprocal pattern with moving when we walk. If our ankles are locked up and they don't move into the proper position, that limits the way we walk, limits the way we squat, limits the way we get down to a half kneel position. And that's also going to limit the way we exercise and we function. So having that mobility will allow us to have good connection through the ground and to the rest of the body. And it's going to allow our kinetic chain from the foot all the way up into the rest of the body to function and perform normally when we're trying to do everyday activity as well as training with fitness. We're going to start with the half kneeling ankle mobility. So we're going to use this to restore dorsiflexion, which means we need to pull the foot upwards. So a simple drill we're going to use, I'm going to have Haley here get into a half kneel position. She's so going to kneel down. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the knee over the foot, 90 degrees. And then she's going to grab a dowel. We're going to position it right at the fourth and the fifth toe. So you're going to hold that with your hands. And then now I'm going to have her lean forward so the knee goes to the outside of the pole. And her goal is to try to get all the way to the end range position until she feels a stretch. If she's getting a lot in the hip flexor, just scoot that knee a little forward. Just bring the angle up a little bit so we get less in the hip flexor, more on the ankle. Pull for about 10 seconds and then come on back and relax. We repeat this for about 10 times, each time trying to restore mobility at the ankle. We're bringing the knee to the outside a little bit because that gets the true mobility here without any compensation on the inside. That's going to restore that full flexion of pulling the foot up and moving the foot outwards for dorsiflexion. We're going to use a weight now for an overpressure position to restore end range dorsiflexion. So I'm going to have Haley get down to a half kneel position just like before we were doing with the dowel. And now we're going to place a weight, usually like 10 or 15 pounds is efficient. So while she puts the weight on the knee, she's going to lunge forward and she's going to put some pressure through the weight to load through the lower leg into the ankle. And what that does is restores at that end range a little bit of overpressure so the joint gets used to being loaded and the muscles and the tissue gets used to being in that position to get that final end range. So we kind of hold for 10 seconds and then we come on back. We go forward again, pause for 10 seconds. So again, just reinforcing that end range tissue load, a little bit higher demand, getting the tissue to adapt to that position. We're going to do a split stance toe touch progression. What that means is we're going to use a half foam roll that's going to put one foot position in that dorsiflexion end and the front foot's going to act like a kick stand. So we're going to work not only restoring mobility, but also balance. So as we progress with center of gravity, bending over the foot and coming back up, as our gravity changes, we're going to restore that balance and getting the muscles to learn how to control within a different position. So I'm going to have Haley put her left foot up on here. So toes are on the foam roll, heel is down. Front foot's going to go on the front of the foam roll. So heel is up, toes are down. Now what she's going to do is she's going to reach down and try to bend down and touch her toes of this back foot. And then she's going to try to hold. She's going to get bending over here, balancing through that leg, and then she's going to come back up. So now what this is teaching is understanding the control as we start displacing our center of gravity down and back up to restore that full mobility of the ankle. We're going to do a slant board mobilization. So this is going to again get end range position for the dorsiflexion, but it's also going to help get a little more of the soft tissue stretch into the cast rock and into the Achilles. So I'm going to have Haley put her left foot onto the board. She's going to turn the foot just a little bit inward, so we're going to target more of the muscle tissue back here. And then she's going to put her next foot up onto the chair and then she's going to lunge forward. So as she lunges forward, feel pull come through all back here, trying to hold to get in the end range position, hold for 10 seconds, and then we'll return back. Slant forward mobilization. We're going to use a lacrosse ball to train the muscles on the front of the shin, so the anterior tibialis, which helps pull the foot up, and also the muscle that supports the bottom of the arch, the posterior tibialis, which runs behind the shin. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Haley put her feet around the ball. So we're going to put it between both heels. And then she's going to squeeze the ball as she pushes up onto her toes. And the goal is to try to go slow and controlled to the best effort. Trying to control the forefoot and the rear foot to work in unison as we elevate up across the foot. Now to change, we're going to put the ball in the front. 
And now as she squeezes the ball, she's gonna pull up to work the anterior tip. This will also work a little bit of the balance, trying to pull the toes up without falling backwards. We're gonna use a versa loop now to train not only dorsiflexion, but in a good pattern that'll translate to running, walking, and any reciprocal pattern due to legs, get hip flexion and the core involved as well. So I'm gonna have Haley have a versa loop around her feet. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna push her toes down into the ground on this foot while raising up against the band on the other one. So hip flexion, dorsiflexion, trying to control and then switch to the other side. So again, trying to work the front of the shin, pulling the foot up, pulling the hip up, and alternating to get the front of the muscles of the shin to start working. So all those exercises we just did work to restore mobility in the ankle as well as getting the function to translate over into all the activities we have to do. So mobility, remember, is how well your joint can move through the range of motion as well as how well the muscles pull it through there. So trying to do these exercises, it doesn't take a long time. You could do just 10 to 15 reps, you know, 10 second holds, adding these in as a warm up before you start doing some of your exercises. You could add them in after like a long run or a long training session. But pepper these into your training routine will help ensure that your ankles stay in the functional positions that I need to do so you have a healthy movement. A lot of these exercises are a combination of creativity as also things from some of the certifications that I have under functional movement systems and if you guys have any questions or you want to just refer to some of the other articles written about these concepts you can go to EnduroLeap.com.